Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that all of you are doing great. In today's video, I will talk about why it is important to not fear adapting considering your trading results. So let's actually get right into it. So as a trader, it's really important to adapt considering your trading results. And here I'm talking more specifically about risk management. Now you will see that the concept and the explanation that I will be giving in this video also works for other concepts and in other uh, aspects of your trading. But here it's mainly about the risk management and I will use this example to show you guys what I mean with this video and what is the point that I want to make. So to illustrate what I mean, I will show you an example which will be according to risk management and then you will understand and see why it's so crucial. So let's make a hypothetical situation. Let's say that you are a trader, you trade with $1,000 and you decide to use a risk uh, management of 5% which means that you will risk $50 per trade on every trade that you take, right? So let's say you open your account, you have $1,000 in your account, you use that as a risk management and you start trading. So you go live, you start to make five trades, 10 trades, 20 trades, 50 trades, and then you take a step back. You look at your account, you look at the progression, you look at if you made money if you and if you didn't make money, right? You look at all of those numbers, those statistics according to your trading account. So this is what you would do. Um, you know, just all traders do that, by the way. You know, it's just very common sense to, you know, after a few months of practice to just, you know, take a step back and see overall how it's going. Um, it's always good to, you know, just stay calm and just look at the facts and then after that you will see how you are able to progress and what you need to change and adapt which is what i'm getting in uh, to improve your trading results if you made money right if you are making consistent profit if you are able to you know weeks after weeks months after month grow your account then there's nothing really that you need to change right um, because if you know what you're doing, if you follow a good risk management, if everything is in place and you just keep growing and growing your account, then you are on the right path to become a profitable trader. And there is nothing much that you need to change about that because you are already, you know, going in the right direction to achieve your goals. Um, so that's your uh, first possible scenario. As you guys know, very few people are actually profitable. Um, nine people out of 10 end up losing money in trading. So a vast majority of people are not in that category, right? There's only very, very few people because in the 10% that, you know, the, the, the traders who are profitable, it also includes the traders who don't really lose money, but also don't really make any money. So in reality, there is about two to 5% of traders that really make money from trading. So that first scenario that I illustrated is very, uh, not the, you know, it's not the, the common thing, right? It's not what you often see. Um, what often happens to people is that they either don't really make any money, um, they just stay stagnant or they even lose money in most uh, scenarios. So let's say that it's your case, right? And you will see why, but that's, you know, for, for this video is really for the people who are not already profitable, who are still struggling to make money from trading. And maybe that this video will actually uh, help you become better and have better results. So you are trading, you've been trading now for a few months, you took your step back, you realized that it was not going very well, you were not really making money, Okay, what to do, right? What's next? Well, what's next is that you need to adapt and change something. Because if you've been trading the same way for many months and you are still not making any money, well, there is something wrong, right? And so 
it's hard sometimes to pinpoint what is wrong, especially, you know, for me, since I don't know your situation, I don't know where are you lacking knowledge or experience to actually become better. So this is why I said that, you know, what I'm, what I'm talking about now, you will be able to apply it on any aspect. Here, I will just use the example of the risk management to illustrate what I mean, um, you know, with this video, basically. So if you're not making money, it means that there is something wrong, right? It means that there is a place in your trading that you are struggling with. So let's use the example of uh, the risk management. So if you remember at the beginning, I said that, you know, we would use an example of someone risking 5% per trade. 5% per trade is not the best risk management, right? Because it means that you just have to lose few trades in a row and you will be down like 20, 30% of your account. And after that, in that situation, it's really hard to get back to where you were before if you still keep a risk management and if you adapt the risk management uh, according to the losses that you had so that every percentage now will be smaller and it will become harder and harder to simply grow your account back to where you were before. So using 5% per risk per trade is maybe not the best, right? It's a lot of risk. Um, you know, if you just think as well of general investing or, you know, people who manage portfolios or things like that, 5% per trade is a very huge risk management. Now, maybe that it works for some people, depending on how you are able to manage that, how you are able to live with that, right, with your emotions. So maybe that it works for some people, but for the majority of people, a 5% risk management will not work. Once again, I'm just using this as an example. You will see, you know, where I'm getting with that. So if it doesn't work, what you need to do is change something. So for example, what you could say is, okay, I don't make money because I've noticed that I have lost a lot of money at the beginnings because of my poor risk management. So to try to improve, I will reduce my risk management. So for example, you will take your risk management that is five and you will bring it down to 1% or 2%. And then with that new rules, right? With, with that new set of rules, because in reality, everything is the same except the risk management. What you will do after that is go on again and just go on and trade. So you will do this, you know, you will repeat the process basically. So you will take trades for a few weeks or a few months, you will take 10, 20, 50 trades, whatever. And then once again, you will step back and take a look at what have you been doing and what are the changes in the results that you are getting, right? So it's really important to follow this process, do it step by step, and also only change one thing at the time. So what I mean by that, if you change your risk management, let's say that you bring your risk management down, well, you cannot change something else at the same time because let's say that it works, right? Let's say that you bring your risk management down and I don't know, let's say that you trade with a bigger capital. If you do those two changes at the same time and if it end up, end up working, you will not know which of those two is actually the reason why it's working now, you understand? So it's really important that when you do those changes, you take your time, you go step by step and you do one change at the time. You don't try to change everything because if it actually happens to be working, you will not know the reason why it works now precisely, right? Like you want to be, you know, as a trader, I, I like to compare trading with like being a scientist, right? You have a chart in front of you, you have your trading account, and you, you are trying to like figure out the puzzle to actually get to, you know, the profitable uh, place. You, you try to, you know, just go deeper in the understanding uh, behind the trades that you take in order to fully understand what is happening. And so the problem is that if you try to do so many different things at the same time, well, the day that it will work, you will not know 
what makes it work. You will not know the exact reason. And it's important to know that because after that you will be able to even improve better. So if you just change one thing at the time, let's say you change risk management, doesn't work. All right, let's say you change the capital, doesn't work. All right, let's say that you change the trading strategy, it works, right? Well, now you know that since the only change was the trading um, strategy, well, you know that it works now and you know why it works. It's because of the strategy, right? So now what you can do is focus on either improving this to even get better or improve other things. And so that's the reason why it's important to do one by one so that you know exactly, oh, okay, it's because of that, right? Like you have this mental click, right? Like you look at the results, you're like, oh, it's, I have those results now because of this one specific thing. Right, And so if you do this over a long period of time, if you are always trying to improve, trying to get better and have, uh, you know, just better results um, at the end, well, you will make a lot of progress, especially if you are doing this step by step, because you will know the exact reason why you are seeing a certain progress. And that will help you very much to simply be a better trader um, and maybe end up in the 10% of people who uh, make money or I should say, you know, in the top two to five percent of traders who really make money. Uh, I think it's one of the, of the best way to uh, progress. And that's why, you know, um, experience is very important as a trader, right? Um, you cannot buy experience, you can buy knowledge, you can buy maybe, you know, training strategy or whatever, but it also comes down to knowledge, but you cannot buy experience, right? Experience, you know, you, you will gain experience over time. And so that's why it matters because with experience, if you are able to just keep going, adapt, change and try to get better, eventually you will find something that works. And if you do it step by step, you will know exactly why it works and then you will be able to improve even more because of that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that it was clear and that it makes sense because that's really something that is important I believe when it comes to simply progressing in trading. That's something that I've used a lot personally and that I'm still doing, right? Like at the end of the day, I also want to become a even better trader than I am right now. So I'm also always in that mentality of getting better and you know following this process to simply see where I can improve. So I think it's uh, very key um, and very important to uh, long-term trading success. Always be growing, always be learning, always be adapting and that's how at the end of the day you are able to become the best version of yourself. So. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I hope that it helped you and that you learned something from it. If you did, please share this video around you. I would truly appreciate it and I'm sure that it can help a lot of other uh, traders as well. All right, so thank you for watching. Take care, trade with care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.